Hey everyone, welcome back to the Freddy Frags channel. Today, as I wait for the um, NFL draft to begin, I decided to, to make this video, um, a video for a first impressions, my first first impressions video. Um, and it's on the house of Amar Oud perfumes. Uh, these, I have six samples that was provided to me by Josie from Oswald. Um, this is a house that they'll be um, they'll be selling soon, if not already. Um, she sent this out to me about maybe a week ago. I haven't tried them yet because I wanted to do a first impression because it may take me a little too long to provide full reviews for each of these and get give a full um, aspect of what, you know how I feel about them. But so I fit well not but but I figured that I'll give you my first impressions. On, on the house um, as of now as of now um, first impressions as uh, far as presentation is great looks amazing uh, I haven't smelt any of them but uh, the bottles uh, the bottles are nice they're not my style but they look like they're very well done um, I'm gonna leave all the information from the house down in the comment section um, there's a lot of information provided with these samples, uh, which I haven't gone through. I know there's a um, USB that has some information on the house as well. And uh, I'll go through that tonight when I'm watching the um, the draft. And I'll try to put up the video tonight, if not tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will have this uh, here within the last couple of days of um, April. Um, so again, first impressions on the house of Armar Oud. Samples came in this uh, velvety pouch. Um, one of the samples was in another little velvet pouch where it slips in. Like it was like this, very nice. Um, and last but not least, the atomizers. Um, Amar Oud perfume. I guess you know the logo and the name is on every on every piece of their. Um, all the materials for their samples and all black very nice um i thought these were full but they're not but it's okay um it's enough in here to give me uh more than just the first impression so um again i have six of them and i'm just gonna grab them randomly here um in order that i have them just set up there uh the first one is midnight rose i wonder what that's gonna smell like Oh, this is a nice rose. It's a nice rose with uh, some type of citrus sweetness to it. It's a little fresh. It's very bright. It's a really nice, but it's it's a little too feminine for my taste. But it it is a very nice fragrance. Uh, rose lovers may like this. Rose, I think rose lovers will love this. Um, and especially feminine uh, people that like feminine leaning rose fragrances. So this might be a good one for the girls or for the women, the ladies. Um, the next one is Oud Du Jour. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Um, This is a wearable oud. Fruity. It has like a fruity sweetness. I get like a slight incense vibe. Um, not too strong, just like a hint of it. Very nice. Uh, that's oud du jour. Very nice, like I said, it's a wearable oud with some sweetness to it. Um, not too dense, but it's very nice. Um, the next one here I have Saffron Rare. Oh. Reminds me, <laughs> this has a leathery vibe. Um, reminds me of I wouldn't say Tuscan leather exact, but it reminds it gives me that vibe. Um, 
like all the other clones, like uh, Fire Cells, um, Nobu Leather. Uh, what's the Oud. Montal's uh, Leather Oud or Oud, Le or Oud Leather. Gives me something within that vibe. Um, very nice. I would wear this. This it smells smooth and it's not pungent. Um, not pungent like some of the um, some of those Tuscan leather um, clones or Tuscan leather itself. Some of them give me a headache. This one, off the bat, is not it's not affecting uh, my nostrils or my sinuses. So it's very nice, uh, very smooth, uh, but. If you have a Tuscan leather or any other clones, I don't think you you'll need that one. But I, I, I like it. Um, depending, I don't know the prices of them yet. I didn't look. Uh, depending on the price, that may be a a good one to purchase um, in replacement to any of the other ones. Um, the next one is Santal Des Indies or Des Endes. It's nice. Uh, sandalwood 100% it's, uh, has like a nice smooth oud I also get a uh, leather vibe from here not the same leather this is a more like it's like more of an oody leather scent um, I do get woods and again another slight hint of that incense that might be their DNA. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, these are my first time smelling them. I haven't tried anything else from the house, if there are other scents. But it's another nice one. Uh, if you like oud, sandalwood, and uh, a little bit of a leather, that's a nice, uh, excuse me, that's a nice scent as well. Um, the next one I have here is Mio Savage or Mayel Savage. Um, oh, this is nice. This is one's unisex. Um, I, they're all pretty much unisex except for the Midnight Rose, which I say means a bit more feminine, but a man can still put it off that he's confident. Uh, but this one is right down 50-50. Uh, I get honey. Uh, similar honey to like Back to Black. But, you know, it doesn't smell exactly like Back to Black. But it has that honey vibe of Back to Black. Tonka, vanilla, something to that effect. Oud. I also get Santal, Santal um, Sandalwood in this one. Uh... And again, very nice, very nice scent. Uh, I must say, I'm, I'm impressed so far. Last but not least, Dark Orchid. They, they have the names here. I don't know if I said that before. Very nice presentation. I have a cloud here. I'm spraying them down here just to get it on Automizer. Um, I think that's going to give me more accurate than if I spray it on paper. And it's working because I get a pretty good uh, array of the scent just around where the automizer is. This is Dark Orchid. Definitely get the Orchid. Get some patchouli. Some sweetness. Again, tonka, vanilla, something to that effect. I have a hard time determining between the between those two type scents, the tonka and the vanilla. And also, it has like a citrus undertone to all those other scents. Very nicely blended. Uh, another another great one. Um, I, I have a feeling this is gonna be a, this line's gonna be a hit within the community. I'm starting to get a headache now. <laughs> but um, uh, again, Armor, Amor Oud, this is a house that I've gotten six samples from 
uh, Oswald. Uh, Josie sent them over to me. Uh, again, this is a brand that they a house that they're gonna start selling, if not already. And this was my first impressions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to review any particular one from the house as I will start wearing them. Um, it's starting to get nice and warm here in New York, so I'm not sure if I'll go through all of them now because some of them are uh, a little thick or heavy for this type of weather, but I would definitely wear it within the house and, you know, uh, to give you guys an idea of the performance and the dry down and stuff like that. Um, again, but that's my, my first impressions, my first first impressions on the house of Amar Oud. And I say everybody uh, look forward to this. Uh, you guys should look forward to trying these. Um, I think half of them are <laughs> blind buy worthy. I'm just gonna, which ones were my favorite? Um, uh, let's see. Eau de Jour, that was, I think, my favorite. This, yeah, I think this one might might be my favorite. Uh, Miel Sauvage, another one uh, that I'm gonna wear. I'm, I might even throw that one on today. And the last one, I think, is Dark Orchid. That these are the, they're all nice. Uh, but out of the six, I probably would lean towards the three I just mentioned. And the other three are possibles. Um, but if you're looking for something more dense and more um, more dense and unique, I, the other three. But they all seem to be pretty unique to me. And I, like I said, I like them. So again, my first, impre my first first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please take a moment to rate, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Peace and stay blessed. Take care.